For condition, we have a female who's 54 years old who'd reported a sudden loss in vision in her right eye. And with that, she had severe headaches also impacting the vision. And she actually said it was like a curtain came over my vision. When she came in, she was very nervous and tense and reported having tried many different things before she'd come to the doctor's office. For history, we have no previous surgeries, no previous diseases, uh, recent report from the hospital, exams, MRI, CAT scan, both negative. There's no trauma in the case, arterial information negative. All the tests came back negative. So it wasn't like they established some other disease causing this. So they say no etiology established. And Dr. Wallace said, look, it's likely some sort of stress response. And the medical condition diagnosis is ischemic optic neuropathy or optic neuritis. And this is only in one eye, her right eye. Again, like I said, no known etiology. And at the hospital, they prescribed prednisone, pumped her up with steroids, did all kinds of tests. Nothing changed. And she'd done other things besides, like as had been mentioned. So to start a care findings for her right eye, the visual acuity was 2050 minus 3. So that means uh, it was half of that line. Her near vision was reduced both in terms of her contrast sensitivity and acuity, and for those who don't know what that means, I'll get to that. Her visual fields were reduced. She had enlarged blind spots and reduced color field. For treatment, 18 treatments were done over a 10-week period in office. Neurology 3 treatment was done, which was modified, and you can see here in the picture, it's basically a scanning along the optic nerve pathway along the side of the face and over the eye. The 905 Delta Pro model was used, and in conjunction with this, the other treatment done was acupuncture weekly. If you want more details with respect to the treatment, please contact me. Results, so the eye exam uh, was done after 18 treatments, revealed had her acuity, like you see in the eye chart on the right, uh, had improved by about 20% near and far. Contrast sensitivity had improved almost 30%. You can see here from this picture on the right, the ability to tell between light and dark, and there's a lot to it. This is just a basic example. And for visual field, we'll get into some more specifics, but her blind spot was reduced with treatment, color fields expanded with treatment, and her visual field defects were reduced. So with respect to the visual field, you see the picture up in the upper right, someone looks ahead, they have a certain field of vision. Defects means there's areas that they cannot see within what would regularly be an area they would be able to see. And you can see that exemplified in the pictures below. So the defects were 14 at the start of care. In other words, there were 14 defects in her field. Now reduced to nine with less severity in the defect areas. They were no longer absolutes. And over the course of treatment with comotherapy, prednisone was also stopped. She reported having clearer vision, far and near, she had improved peripheral vision in the treated eye, and she now found she had less perception of the field loss in her field of vision. And a test was done a month later to follow up. The visual field defects actually continued improving. So at the end, they were nine. At the end of the care period of treatment, she was at nine. Now they'd gone down to five. And remember, at the beginning or the start of care, they were at 14. Now the acuity, she lost half a line. Uh, over that one month, so indicating she'd need more treatments. So she was invited for follow-up care, and subjectively at the end of the one-month follow-up, she said, look, I feel the vision is still clear, near and far. My peripheral vision is improved, and this blind spot or the areas I can't see is less disturbing to me now. So I want to thank you for following along, and I trust this case report summary will be of use to you or someone you know. And a very special thank you to Dr. Larry Wallace. And Dr. Wallace is a behavioral optometrist, and he's been an integral part of the College of Syntonic Optometry for over 40 years. And both he and the college are dedicated to the education and research in the field of light and color therapy. He is a certified low vision specialist and has worked extensively in the field of visual rehabilitation for head trauma and brain injury. Dr. Wallace is also the patent holder of the first microcurrent device to treat retinal disease, and he travels the world over educating others in the fields of light and color therapy, and specifically applications in syntonic phototherapy. We'll see you next time.